I'm Lorelai, and today we're gonna continue with Umineko, and we're gonna watch everyone bully Battler because he's scared of the boat. Let's go! <laughs> Why is she saying that? <laughs> でも意外ね。バトラ君、てっきり怖いもの小型機乗るのは初めてだったから、ちょいと答えちまっただけだぜ。あの大騒ぎでちょいとなの。バトラ君とは海外旅行を一緒に行くと賑やかそうね。おばさんとエジプトとか行かな。14時間も飛行機に
She's dad's older brother's daughter. That older brother happens to be the eldest son of the Ushiro Mia family. So I guess that also technically makes Jessica a direct heir to the Ushiro Mia family. I'm sorry, but that name, that family name is just really long and it's gonna take time for me to get used to it. Since Jessica and I are the same age and had that type of boy girl. Since Jessica and I are the same age and had that type of boy-girl rivalry between us, we've always been used to fighting and joking around together whenever the relatives gathered. Jessica grew more quickly, so she always had me beat in terms of size and physical strength. So, when we scuffled as a contest of strength like this, it usually went Jessica's way. So even though I clearly understand that I'm bigger now, I still feel like I can't win against Jessica with my strength. <laughs> Holy shit! なんだよ。何マジになってんだよ。言っててて。おいおいおい。全然力入れてねえぜ。ジェシカ、お前貧弱になっただろ。うっ。うるせえぞ。こっちから女やってんだ。いつまでも腕力で男に勝てるわけね
何しろこの6年ちっとも老けちゃいねえぜむしろ若返ったんじゃねえの<笑>最近はお肌がピチピチしてきちゃってほら胸もますますに大きくなっちゃいましたんですよ揉んでみますごご冗談俺が揉みたいのはピチピチした姉ちゃんの胸限定だぜ私とて若い日にはそれはピチピチしておりましたよほらほらぜひどうぞお揉みくださいませ This was not the kind of conversation I expected to have ひょーほー勘弁してくれよ若い姉ちゃんだ若い姉ちゃん熊沢のばあちゃんじゃねえよ The jokes that I cracked about Jessica were being used against me. Come to think of it, she always was the type of person to tease people. Oh, yo, yo, say, yo, Kumasawa san. Kangoke ni hanbun ga shitsukkon da hito ga hashiai jay ike nese. Wakai kata to jareru no ga nani yori no wakagari no kusuri desu yo. I'm sorry, but her laugh is kind of creeping me out. Just a bit, though. クマサワさんが迎えに来るなんて珍しいじゃないどういう風の吹き回しかしら用事を頼まれるといつも腰痛になるあなたが<笑><笑>エヴァ様は相変わらず手厳しゅうございます急なお買い物がありましたものでそのついでに皆様のお迎えをしようと思いましてもっともお迎え待ちのおいぼれのお迎えでは景気も悪いでしょうが。I, I don't, I don't know. Do they hate each other or something? <笑> Auntie Eva spoke sarcastically, but Kumasawa ba chan's years of experience were nothing to sneeze at. She was more than capable of smoothly and coolly letting the comment slide. Well, I'd rather not say it. But old Kumasawa Bachan may be past her prime as a servant. She might act as though she's in good health, but between her headaches and the lumbago, her body is wearing out. I'm gonna have to search out what that is because I have no idea. To tell you the truth, the very fact that she's still working is impressive. How old is she again this year? She must be pushing 80 by now. Damn. It's incredible that she's still able to act so brightly. Masu masu ni o genki na yo de. So da kore. Mai ni hanashite ta o cha desu. Hora, katte kimashita. Ato de nonde mite kudasai. Andy Rosa show her the souvenir bag she's taken out of her suitcase. To think that she had remembered the promise that she had apparently made last year and faithfully brought it. This sort of thoughtfulness was just like Auntie Rosa. She wasn't the kind of person who would forget or break a promise. That's nice. As for Kumasama Bachan, she seemed deeply touched by the fact that not only had Auntie Rosa remembered that year old promise, she had brought that gift for a simple servant like her. This woman is Kumasawa Chiyo san. She's a senior servant who's been working for the Ushiromiya Hit House for many years. As you could expect from someone her age, she isn't that good at manual labor, but from kitchen work to cleaning and laundry, she's a kind of super servant who can handle just about anything. It seems like her only flaw is a tendency to slack off. I hear she tries to get away from heavy or troublesome work by playing up her chronic diseases. In Kumasawa Bachan's case, we, maybe we should call that sort of lazy craftiness. Though it probably doesn't impress those paying her salary. Ah, well, even if she's pretty flaky when it comes to work, I could never dislike her. I guess that's probably because of her cheerfulness and her constant smile. いやあ、相変わらずお元気そうで何よりでんな。あれから背中の具合はどないでっか薬を飲んでもちっとも良くなりませんで
こればかりはお医者様ではどうにもなりません。夫人の病っちゅうもんですわ。<笑>それにしても、ジェシカちゃんはますます美人になったな。夏日姉さんに似てよかったぜ。そ、そうですか私的には全然似てないつもりなんですけど。Who's Natsuhi? Oh! Oh my, I remember now. Natsuhi was in the, the credit scene thingy. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure お前の鼻が似ててムカつくんだよ何言ってんのよ呆れるくらいそっくりよあなたもお父様もねおいおいそりゃねえだろ俺のどこが親父に似てるってんだ傲慢で偉そうなところとかそっくりよあんたと兄さんは特にお父様の血が強いわねねえローザええまったくクラウス兄さんもルドルフ兄さんも信じられないくらいお父様にそっくりおいおい参ったななんで俺だけ女どもに集中放火なんだ秀吉兄さん助けてくださいよいやいやルドルフ君はいっつも女性にモテてるな羨ましいでハハハハハ相変わらずモテモテでお羨ましいことですそれでは皆様お船の方へお乗りくださいませさあさあマリアさん一緒にお船に乗りましょうね I keep talking about this boat and I'm so curious now 一緒にお船に乗る<笑>みんなも一緒に乗る Is she singing a song? おやもう今度は怖くないぜ波で揺れるのは慣れてるしなあのオンボロ漁船の場合揺れて怖いってよりエンジンがぶっ壊れて漂流するんじゃねえかって方が怖いぜそうだバトラ君言うのを忘れてたあの漁船はだいぶ老朽化してたんで数年前に引退したんだよ今は他の船が島まで運んでくれるんだああそっかバトラは新しい船が初めてなんだな快適だぜすっげえ速いんだ何しろとんでもないスピードが出るんだからさほうってことは船旅の時間がさらに短縮されたわけかそりゃ素晴らしい何しろ飛行機よりマシとはいえ沈没の危険にさらされる時間が少しでも短くなるってんだからこりゃ極めて素晴らしいぜバトラはまた落ちる落ちるそりゃ飛行機の時だけさもう大丈夫だぜ何しろ船長自慢の改造高速艇らしいぜだいぶいじってるらしくプロペラは高性能のが4機もついてて最高速度は40ノットを超えるとかなんとか自慢してたないつも自慢されるんで覚えちまったぜ I'm sorry, but all of this information is just lost on me. That's a lot. Boku mo mai to shiki ka sare runde o oboe chatta yo. Senchou wa mukashi, gai kok no gyosen to sokudo krabe o shite makete ilai, speedo kaizou ni tori tsukare chatta nda ってさ Sono toki no aite wa gyosen na no ni, 30knot i jou mo dase ta nda ってね Sono setsujok no nen ga ketsujitsu shite, skat to soukai na, chou kousoku kaizou te no tanjou to natta wa ke sa. バトラもきっと気に入るぜ。Super high speed modded boat. My first thought was that this would be much better than some beat up boat that might sink at any time. But for some reason, I'm getting this feeling of foreboding. Nah. Oh my, we're shaking so much. おいバトラー島までは泳いで行った方がいいんじゃねえか I think so too 
バトラー君柵からあんまり身を乗り出しちゃダメだよ落ちちゃうから<笑>落ちる落ちるキックしようさっきからみんながニヤニヤ笑ってたのはこれだったのか<笑> This is making me dizzy The super high speed boat, said to have been modded to hell and back by its captain as a personal hobby, was definitely nothing like that battered old fishing boat from six years ago. Oh, goodness! ライフジャケットを送れ<笑><笑>なんだよバートラーおめえそれ何の真似だよ<笑>ジェシカちゃんもマリアちゃんもいじめちゃ悪いって<笑> But you teased me too. バトラー君も怖いならカンパに出なきゃいいのに船内ならもう少し怖くないと思うけどな<笑><笑>そいつはあのサンキューだぜ兄貴海難事故の犠牲者はいつも船内なんだ生存者を抱いて、事故時は甲板なんだぜ。だから俺はここにいる。でも揺れる。<笑>落ちる。<笑>揺れる。落ちる。<笑>マリア、よしなさいったら。<笑>でもバトラ君、本当に苦手なのね。I wish there was an option to stop all this shaking. Please do. Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,Rosa,
バトラ君船長が罪滅ぼしにってドリンクをサービスしてくれたよ飲んで一服しないかい落ち着くよジョージアニキーエンクマサワバーチャン brought us each an ice cold drink with drops of moisture on a can Judging from Kumasawa's son's big grin, my parents inside the boat were probably all rolling around laughing at my moment of pure terror. Damn it, I'm so embarrassed that I can't bear to face any of them. If I didn't change the subject somehow, I had the feeling I'd be the butt of everyone's jokes for the whole trip, so I tried to think of something harmless to talk about. ああジェシカクラウスおじさんと夏日おばさんは元気なのかよ親父とおふくろ残念ながら元気だぜ二言目には勉強しろ勉強しろってうるせえけどよ秀吉おじさんとかルドルフおじさんとかそういうこと言わなそうだから羨ましいぜ<笑>とんでもない僕も受験を控えてた頃はいっつも受験受験って言われてたようるさくも思ったけど今は感謝してるよはあやっぱりジョージ兄貴は人間ができてるなちなみにうちは絶賛放任中だからな何にも言われないぜまあ言われたって聞かねえけどな<笑>バトラさんはまだご実家には戻られておられないのですかうんまあちょくちょく戻るようにはまだ服とかだいぶ前の家に残してるんでおおバトラお家が2つあるううーんまあなどうしてどうしてお家が2つおおおお Only Maria who couldn't really grasp the situation voiced her naive question However, the others just shot nervous glances at me, choosing not to respond even though they knew the answer. Maria! Hora! Funatskiba ga miete kita ze! Hora! Are! Mieru ka? Funatskiba mieta! Funatskiba mieta! Apparently, Jessica was trying to be nice by changing the subject. Ah,、uh, well. I'd rather not talk about it if I can't help it, but it's uncomfortable to have it treated like some kind of weird taboo. I don't mind that much myself anymore. I am an Ushiromiya, but the truth is that for the past six years, I've been living with my grandparents on my late mother's side, and I've even been using her family name. I wonder what happened then. When those grandparents passed away one after the other, I basically had no choice except to go back and live with the old bastard. Don't get me wrong, I didn't just run away from home or anything like that. The only one at fault here is my dad. I don't really blame Kirie san. Being able to hold that old bastard's reins and ride him out is no mean feat. But as for the betrayal that the old bastard inflicted on my mom, well, unfortunately, I still haven't fully gotten over that. <clears throat> I wonder what. Betrayal? Did he mention this in the previous one? <laughs> George Aniki cleared his throat, trying to change the topic. <laughs> Kumasawa's son seemed to regret speaking out of turn. But I was more concerned about being worried over something like that, so I stood up and passed it off lightly. After that, I had a sip of my drink and hid it to Maria and Jessica, who were gazing at the silhouette of the island. Hey! 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 Hey!
I'm so curious about the island. The small island silhouette in front of us had gotten pretty close. This island's name is Rokenjima. It's a small island about 10 kilometers around, located in the Izu archipelago. Since they call this archipelago the Izu 7, lots of people think that there are seven islands, but that's not true. There are actually more than seven. Rokenjima is one of the minor islands that don't get counted. Even considering that, there are probably very few people who know about this island. After all, only the people of the Ushiromiya family come to this island. In other words, it has no ties whatsoever to outsiders or tourists. So, you'll never find this island's name in a travel bro brochure. This is because all of Rokenjima is an estate possessed, possessed by the Ushiromiya headhouse. Only the Ushiromiya family lives there and only people connected to the Ushiromiya family come and go there. There is nothing there except a harbor and a mansion. The vast majority of the island is still just uncultivated forest. Damn, I want to have a house like this. Such a waste when it could have been made into a nice golf course. No golf courses for me, please. However, when you realize that the entire coastline is a private beach, it starts to sound pretty magnificent. You might have realized it by now, but to put it simply, well, the Ushiromiya family is just rolling in dough. The fortune possessed by the hit house is apparently vast, and Dad and the others who make up the brunch families have built up plenty of wealth for themselves, finding success in their respective businesses. I've been living a commoner's life at my parents' grandparents' home these six years, so I've completely forgotten. But the old bastard's house really is elegant, and everything about it is tuned to match the snobbish tastes of the annoyingly rich. Come to think of it, I guess that means Jar Janaki, Jessica, Maria, and I are all wealthy, high-class gentlemen and ladies. Needless to say, none of us feel that way at all. I don't see myself as being rich, and George Aniki, who takes self-discipline very seriously, doesn't let himself get too com comfortable. Jessica is always complaining that she'd rather move to the city than be rich. And Maria is still a kid who isn't even interested in money at all. I guess that attitude itself is snobbish. From the perspective of people in poverty who can't pay the bills, we're very lucky to even have the luxury of thinking this way. This isn't a place to explain any further, so I won't. Anyway, it's the same as not being able to choose the parents you're born from. I didn't ask to be born into a rich family. And I don't think it's something I should be hated for. It can be pretty tiring when people are prejudiced against you just because you're rich and refuse to judge you by your merits. As I pondered these sentimental thoughts, Maria leaned over the railing and started shouting. Huh? No. Why is she crying? Maria kept yelling, gone, gone. From her words alone, you would think she had perhaps dropped something, but she was actually pointing out over the ocean as she shouted. If she dropped something, she would probably have looked down at the floor, but Maria was pointing out over the ocean. One would assume that she had seen something out over the ocean, but she kept saying that something was gone. Strange. However, my last memories of this place came from six years ago. I, if I was able to spot it before Aniki, who comes here every year. 
この辺の小さい岩の上に鳥居みたいなのがなかったっけ What's a 鳥居うん、そうだ、確かにあったぜ島に近づいてくると最初に迎えてくれる目印みたいなもんだったからよく覚えてるぜへえワードラすごいじゃねえか6年ぶりなのによく覚えてるもんだぜあったね僕も思い出したよ珍珠の社と鳥居みたいなものが岩の上にポツンと立ててあったよそういえばないね去年は確かにあったと思うお方波か何かでさらわれちまったんだろう小さい岩だったしなだいぶ風化でもろくなってたんだろうさ私もそうだと思ってるんだけどよ亡くなっちゃったのはこの夏のことなんだよ何でもよある晩に大きな稲妻が落ちてお社を砕いてしまったんだとか I don't like this background music that's like wind blowing or something 神樹様に落雷があるなどこれは不吉の兆しに違いないと桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原桑原よせよ熊沢さんマリアはそういう冗談の通じない年頃なんだからさ大丈夫だよマリアちゃん偶然だよ何も怖いことなんか起きないよ Usually if you say this I start to fear the worst George Aniki puts a hand on Maria's shoulder to calm her down but Maria's sharp eyed expression didn't budge 不吉不吉 Maria muttered the word over and over. Apparently, repeating a single word over and over is a habit that Maria's had for a long time. However, since the word she was saying was quite literally ominous, it was a bit creepy. <laughs> I'm half expecting a jump scare. Oh, oh, Maria. So many times I've been here, I'm really going to get to the end. I tapped Maria's other shoulder. And then, Maria whipped her head around, stared into my face, and spoke unblinkingly. <sighs> Now that's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm scared! <laughs> I answered lightheartedly, trying to break the tension in the air. And in reply, Maria held up a finger, raised her arm high, and pointed up to the heavens. When I looked up, I saw that the sky was still just as cloudy, but it had grown a great deal more le leaden, or leaden than it had been that morning. That's right, they were saying that a typhoon was approaching. We had planned to spend one night on the island, but if this storm doesn't pass quickly, I won't be able to make it to school on Monday. Well, I guess it makes for a pretty good excuse to be absent. <sighs> That sounds scary. She apparently sensed something ominous in this cloudy sky. She's been muttering for a while now. Girls at Maria's age tend to be very impressionable. She's just about the age when many girls start to get excited about six senses and whether they have any psychic potential and stuff. In a way, being sensitive about things like this isn't really out of the ordinary for a kid like her. That's what I'm hoping. Maria-chan,天気はこんやくらいには崩れるかもしれないけど明日には良くなって綺麗な青空になってるよ。きれいな青空おおそう明日になればきれいな青空になるよやまない雨はないし晴れない雲だってないおおやまない雨晴れない雲ふう
確かに台風が近づいてるけどよすぐに過ぎちまうって大丈夫さマリア Happening. Maria started yelling, Ooh, ooh. It looked as though she was having a tantrum because no one could understand what she was trying to say. What in the world is Maria trying so desperately to warn us about? Unable to understand her, we could do nothing but feel a vague sense of foreboding. I've heard that everyone can feel the supernatural, but that it weakens as you age. That might mean that Maria, the youngest one of us all, still possessed some kind of sense that the rest of us had lost. I wonder if that sense is sending her a warning. At that moment, Kumasawa san quietly opened her mouth. Kumasawa san. Seems like there's something they don't want us to know. Just as Kumasawa san was about to tell some kind of story, Jessica sharply interrupted her. For Jessica, this was an extremely firm reaction. I wanted to push her further, just out of simple curiosity. But judging by how Jessica was acting, it wasn't difficult to imagine that it would simply inflame Maria's unease further. If I did try to press her for the story, the odds were pretty good that it wouldn't be anything bright and cheery. <laughs> Gossipers have no reason to hang around after they've been told to stop chatting. When Kumasawa san finally realized that she overstepped her bounds, a bounce, her boundaries, she went back inside a boat. After she left, Uncle Hideyoshi came along to replace her. Since he showed up partway through, he completely failed to notice the complicated atmosphere that hung about the scene. So he refreshingly and unwittingly swept that atmosphere aside. So, in the end, it was his unwittingness that brightened the mood. Uncle Hideyoshi seems like such a chill guy. I would love to have him as my uncle in real life. <laughs> Maria had probably come to the conclusion that no one was going to listen to her. She hung her head, wearing a fretful face. As she did, George Aniki crouched down to meet her eyes and spoke to her kindly. Maria chan, George is such a good cousin and person. Why didn't you say that when you were scared of the boat and a plane, Battler? Jessica. ジョージお兄ちゃんはいつも本当。うん。僕は嘘をつかないよ。だから信じて。みんなと一緒にいれば何も怖くないんだよ。ふう。ジョージお兄ちゃんは嘘をつかない。信じる。みんなと一緒に
Finally, she smiles. Maria jumped into George Aniki's arms and hugged him tightly. After Aniki Penter Pented? After Aniki petted her head, she jumped away again. Her facial expression had returned so completely to normal that she looked like a totally different person, person <laughs> from moments before. She was once again the ordinary Maria. ああ、そうだぜ。もう怖くない。うん。もう平気みたいだな。マリアは強いな。え、マリア偉い。マリア、どうしたんや。マリアちゃん、船酔いだったんか?うん?まあ、そんなとこです。もうすぐ着きますね
His large size made him seem a bit scary at first, but he was much more polite than my first impression of him had led me to believe. He claimed to have served on the island for two years, but he had doubtless worked at a similar job somewhere before. After everybody disembarked, the mooring rope was untied and a boat started to steer away from the harbor. It was probably returning to its home port of Nijima. The captain waved his hand in farewell. Maria conscientiously waved back. Hmm. I remember that whenever we came to this island, the seagulls always welcomed us with their lively Nya Nya cries. And because of that, whenever I hear the cries of the seagulls in any other place, I get the feeling that I've come to a family conference. Except for the small part of the island where those of the Ushiromiya hit house live, Rokenjima had been left uncultivated, apparently transforming into a paradise for wild birds. Seemingly, some cliff face or other had become home to a huge seagull colony, and so this island was always full of them. Since those seagulls didn't come to greet us, I felt a bit lonely. どうしたのパトラ君。いや、別に海猫の声が聞こえないんで、なんか寂しいなって。あら。そういえばそうね。いつも賑やかなのに、今日はさっぱりいないわね。うーん。どうして海猫いないうーん。This sounds like some heavy foreshadowing that I'm not really getting. Jessica <laughs> She really believed Battler? They really get along well, Battler and Maria. Look at all these variations of Maria's laughter, with the ooh, to the ahaha, to the giggle giggle. As I made fun of Jessica, Maria tagged along looking like she was having fun. Ooh, she really knows how to join in with things. Alright then, starting today, I'll make you my number one follower. As I smiled at her, she beamed back overjoyed. I guess, happy for this little bit of solidarity. Maria-chan. Oh, well, that makes sense with the typhoon and all. Maybe that's the バトラも嘘だったって認めろよ。バトラ君、マリアちゃんは素直な子だからそういう冗談でも真に受けちゃうんだよ。冗談も少し選んだ方がいいよ。George Aniki gently scolded me. Even though I outstripped Aniki in height, he still commanded respect as my elder. No choice but to obediently apologize. あ、あ、ありがとう。Maria, 
調子お兄ちゃんは本当 ?I was having fun, but you were actually just tricking me? A pure eye seemed to accuse me. Maybe I went a little overboard with her after all. Ah, so that's all that. Jojo and Higa it tanoga honto da. Enkiga are in there, Joa Hikagatan da Roya. You know, could not talk as an end of it. Ne, Obasa. So yo, Ashtaiko, Tenkiga Yokunatera, Kitta Modotekte, Miamia to Koyo Kikaseta Kreva. Ah, Tenki Yokunate, Modotekur no Matsu. 明日まで待つ。天気良くなるまで待つ。Maria's mood lightened, and she started looking forward to tomorrow when the seagulls would come back and fill the skies. Still, George Aniki really is amazing at taking care of kids. I think I remember Aniki taking good care of me as well when I was a brat six years ago. Aniki might have quite some talent for this kind of thing. ジョージ君は小さい子の面倒を見るのがうまいわね。保育士さんでも勤められるんじゃないなあ、ジョージ兄さんの転職っぽいぜ。私的には社長室でビジネスってより、そっちの方が兄さんのイメージだぜ。まさか、保育士さんは立派なお仕事だよ。単なる子供好き程度に勤まる仕事じゃないね。100% agree here。本当にジョージ君は謙虚ね。でも、バトラ君も子供のあやし方が上手よ。さっきはほんの少しの間だけど、マリアとっても楽しそうだった。ブルーザ seems like she's trying to cheer me up。これからも今みたいに遊んであげてね。冗談は選んで。だけどね。アンティローザ winked at me, giggling a little.A real mother, I thought to myself, who's happy that Maria looks like she's been having fun. おい、ローザーそれにガキどもも、何やってんだ行くぞはいはい今行きます Are we finally gonna see the house? I'm excited. The old bastard was begging us to hurry up. We'd better get moving. It's not like it'd be too late to have the same discussion after we got our luggage in our rooms. それでは皆様、お泊まりのゲストハウスの方へご案内させていただきます。Not just a guest room, a guest house. どうぞこちらへ。ゴラさん called to everyone and started leading us there. クマサワさん brought up the rear. Are we walking there? Ooh. A serpentine twisting path. Let through a dim forest. It ran a bit uphill. I guess the path was made twisting so that the slope wouldn't be felt too much. But personally, I'd have been happier if they'd been man enough to make some stairs in a straight line. No doubt they made the path twisting on purpose to put on airs of distance and importance. Before long, we saw garden style stone steps. Ah, now I remember how it goes from here. Go up these and. Oh? At the top of the stone steps, a beautiful guest house came into view. Wow. Its facade was lovely, of course, but even more than that, We couldn't help but have our hearts stolen away by the splendor of that beautiful rose garden that spread before it. The garden is truly beautiful, but not as beautiful as you. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, and bye!